Okay. Mr. Praveen Khandelwal, it's because of the double standards in the expunging of expunction of remarks. Madhav. Because Rahul Gandhi says Treasury bench members' remarks which were controversial Madhav. were not expunged. Your response, Mr. Khandelwal. Madhav, I want to say that from day one, it was the planned strategy of Congress and opposition not to, uh, not to get House rolling in as per the dignity of the House, that is point number one. Point number two, we have seen several times Rahul Gandhi and, uh, and other leaders of opposition uh, doing all kinds of nonsenses on the House, uh, p p asking people to come down too well, making, ma ma making disruptions. Uh, ultimately, the Prime Minister is the leader of the House and he is the leader of the country. You have to listen to uh, 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 Prime Minister. And if, if you have anything in your mind, uh, you are always at liberty. Uh, the Speaker gave so many opportunities. But they never obey to the chair to, to the speaker chair. What kind of uh, uh, I mean, what kind of conduct they were uh, they, 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 they were observing in the parliament? I am sorry to say, no. the nation has no. witnessed no. Hmm. the most unruly behaviour of the opposition parties in the parliament. Okay, Vivek Salas. I want to bring in Vivek Salas, spokesperson of Samajwadi Party. On that, Vivek Salas, the nation has witnessed the most unruly behaviour of opposition ever in parliament. Says the BJP MP on our panel. Please respond to you that. You know, you started with your uh, <clears throat> with your speech saying that it's a war of words, but it's not a war of words. It's a war of work, Madhav. We have seen 23 days of NDA government. They are into power for, the, for 23 days. And what we have seen? We have seen a terrorist attack on the devo devotees in Jammu and Kashmir. We have seen a train accident. We have seen the neat paper leak. We have seen the airport uh, roofs falling. We have seen a lot many things. We have seen how in Ayodhya, the airport wall fell. This is corruption. We have also seen how the Atul, At Atul Setu was cracked. This is what should, be, should have been discussed inside the parliament. In spite of this, what has been discussed? A Shole movie. Shole ki mausi kahan se aagai? That is not the way to deal with the parliament. That is not the, uh, not the way the, the Bharti and the party of the Honorable Prime Minister has to deal. Because the youth has given him vote. The farmers have given him votes, the Dalits have given him votes, the Adivasis have given him votes, but not a vote on that. How can you stop him from quoting Shole? I don't know. But not a vote on that. Everything else is a legitimate argument. Certainly, if there is a terror attack, NEET, Agni Veer, there are many relevant issues. These are the relevant issues that should have been discussed. Vivek Salas, that's exactly the point. You demand as opposition the Prime Minister's accountability and his answerability to parliament. But if you go... But if he answers that and you disrupt it, then what is the logic of it? Just five seconds. If you go and talk and you talk about uh, you talk about Dr. Ambedkar, you talk about Nehruji, you start talking about Sita Ram Kesri, you are going to talk about Bab Babu Jagjeevan Ram. Who is going to listen to you? No one. You should Why, take the parliament seriously. Are these not leaders who are, uh, they are historically important? But this is not the need of the hour. The needs of the hour, the need of the country is not how the Congress has ruled the country in the past. Okay. It is how you are going to uplift your country, how your uh, your country is going to progress, that is the need of the hour. Okay.